Apologies if there's any banging in the background while I do this today. The house that I'm at at the moment, the builders are in and they're busy banging in the residents' back doors at the moment. Sorry if you're hearing that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace this filter on the Sebo Felix. I bought another one. If you've seen my in-depth review video, which I'll put up at the top there, card up at the top, then you'll know that this had got really dirty in a relatively short space of time. And I say relatively because SIBO reckoned these should last three to, far, three to four years, I think it was. They got in touch with me directly and said, you know, yes, it does need changing because I wasn't sure whether it was ready for changing. Now I've had this in use. I've done the equivalent of two years worth of use with it and it's ready for changing already. So uh, I'll show you this. I'll take this off, show you this. We'll put the replacement on and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to monitor how long this one lasts over the coming weeks and do snip videos every week to see how, uh, how it's getting on. Incidentally, SIBO reckon the reason why this does need changing is because it's one and branded bag. I don't think that's right, but I'm willing to be proved wrong. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like if I just use the SIBO bags and see how long this one lasts. Right, let's get to it. So what we do first is we remove these restraining clips and you just pull those towards you and they just slide off. and these restraining clips pop off. This then just pulls out, it's a little bit fiddly. This then just pulls out and you can see how black it is and then this just slides out here. So it's quite easy to take out and put back. So that's what the old one looks like. Now this dust isn't dust from the bag, it's dust from the motor itself. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this off because this is quite black around here. Just a little bit different, yeah? Somebody who commented on my review video, the two year review video, where I featured this, they said that these can be put through the wash. I am wondering about that. I might actually just stick this in the washing machine and see what happens, see what it comes out like. No doubt Sebo don't recommend that, but I might try it. So basically what you've got on these exhaust filters is two plastic edges. Now the mistake I made when I fitted this back on in the other video, in the review video was, I wrapped it around here. Right, it needs to go under there, so what I'll do is I'll just pop that, just to make sure I can't do it by accident. This goes up under here, so it can be gripped in there while you work it in. So that's all on there, evenly, all the way around. Clips back on, do the other one first. What you do is you pull these towards you, and it just clips into place. Same with this one at the top, pull it in, clips into place. So that's on nice and securely, we'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll let you know how I get on with this, and if you need to change it, Crack on, it's easy enough. Catch you later.